The new game option shows on the LCD display the first time the menu button is selected. When this is a new game, press yes to clear all of the program data for the last game played or the game in progress and begin running the selected sport. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. If the All Sport Console is utilized for multiple sports, it may be necessary to enter a new code. After selecting Menu and pressing the down arrow button once, the option to enter a new code is presented. Press Yes to begin selection of a new code from the Enter Code prompt. Press No to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. Home Roster and Guest Roster are entered the same way. Home Roster is used as an example. Press Yes or the right or left arrow key to select the Home or Guest Roster submenu and show the first prompt on the LCD. After selecting Yes, Home Dash Team Name will appear on the LCD screen with the second line flashing on the first letter of the team name. You will see at the end of the line the asterisk is also blinking. This is to let you know to accept the change. Enter Yes needs to be pushed after the name is entered. The team name insert must be used to enter the team name message center settings. The team name message center setting is updated after each selection is completed. Enter up to 15 characters for the team name and press enter. After entering the home and guest team names, reinsert the football insert to continue. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. As you prepare to utilize the AllSport 5000 console for football, there are a few specific menu options to begin setting up. After you have turned on the console, the menu will prompt if this is a new game and if a new code needs to be entered. The menu key allows the user to select from a list of options specific for each sport. Utilize the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the menu list. Press in a key other than yes, no, the arrow keys and other allowed keys exits the menu function. Use this function at the start of each new game to edit the home and guest rosters. Pressing the menu key again is the easiest way to exit the menu function. Within the menu navigation there is an option for edit settings. Edit settings will give you the option to edit settings related to the main clock, play clock, timeouts, and a couple of other options that have default sets within the system. To access the Edit Settings option, choose Menu Key, then arrow down past New Game, New Code, Dimming, Home and Guest, Roster, Display Settings. When LCD shows Menu-Main, Edit Settings, you will want to select Enter or Yes to access the options. The Main Clock Mode and Time options allow for setting the display to show a tenth of a second and the length associated to the period break and overtime. The play clock time allows the options to set reset 1 and reset 2 times and select if it will be reset on stop. Whenever a new number, yes or no, have been selected, the asterisk will blink that enter yes needs to be pressed to save the selection. Timeouts both full and partial can be set to the specific number that need to be available for the game with the amount of time that needs to be associated to each. As you enter in the correct number, the asterisk will flash to have you hit enter or yes to save the change. During the game, as timeouts are used, it will apply what is used based on this setting. A couple other settings include center field set and ball on mode. Center field set allows the yards for the location of the center of the field. Enter the correct number if it is different than the default 50 then select enter or yes. If you determine this should not be changed, clear or no can be pressed twice to return to menu. There are two ways of operating the all sport console during a football game. There is a manual mode that has the operator enter the ball on, increase the downs, and yards to go. Many operators prefer to utilize automatic mode. This mode takes away having to enter as much information for each play. The operation begins with each start of possession. The possession key is pressed and the LCD prompts for the play direction 1 equals left and 3 equals right. Select 1 or 3 for the direction of play on the field. The LCD now prompts for the side of the field 1 equals left 
3 equals right. Select 1 or 3 for the side of the field the ball is currently on. Then the LCD prompts for the ball on possession of the ball. After that is entered, each play is entered using the ball on key. After each play, the operator will want to select the ball on key. The LCD will then read side of field. 1 equals an arrow pointing to the left and 3 equals an arrow pointing to the right. The next screen on the LCD shows ball on and the yard line it was last on. This has the operator update the yard line information and then hit enter or yes to confirm the change. The next screen shows the ball on with the yard number just entered, a possession arrow, and the down number and the yards to go. To accept the change, the operator just needs to select enter or yes. In this mode, the bottom line of the LCD shows the current play direction and the side of the field on the two right most characters. A vertical line shows center field and an arrow represents the side of the field and direction of play. On the football insert you will find options to enter specific items for the home and guest teams along with general in-game information. Let's review these buttons. Under home and guest there is the ability to add points, possession of the ball along with yards, rushing, and passing and first downs. The home and guest score plus one, plus two, plus three, and plus six keys are used to add to the team score and the score minus one key is used to reduce the team score. These keys will also blank the ball on, down, and to go values when pressed. Press the appropriate score key to increase or decrease the score for the home or guest team. The LCD shows which key was pressed and the new value for the team score of the corresponding team. The possession keys turn the home and guest possession indicators on and off. Changing the possession will vary depending on the auto calculate settings. If the auto calculate is disabled, press the home or guest possession key to turn on the possession indicator for that team. To turn off the possession indicator, press the same possession key a second time or press the opposite possession key. If the auto calculate is enabled, press the home or guest possession key to turn on the possession indicator for that team. Select the direction of play for the current series of downs. Press 1 or left arrow to set direction from right to left. Press 3 or right arrow to select direction from left to right. Select the current side of the field for ball placement. Press 1 or left arrow to set side of field to left. Press 3 or right arrow to set side of field to right. The home and guest timeout keys are used to reduce the number of timeouts remaining and start the timeout clock. The scoreboard indicator is turned on when the type of timeout is selected. The scoreboard indicator is turned off when the timeout clock expires or is stopped. Press timeout to display the number of full timeouts remaining. To accept the full timeout and start the timeout clock, press yes. The full timeouts will decrease by one. To decline the selection of full timeout, press no. Full timeouts will not decrease. To exit the timeout clock, press timeout again. This will turn the timeout off. Timeouts, home no timeouts, is the message that will appear when there are no full or partial timeouts left. Press rushing yards to manually enter the number of rushing yards gained or lost on a play. Enter the number of rushing yards gained or lost on a play and press enter. Press clear twice to clear changes and return to the game. Select whether to add or subtract from total rushing yards. Press 1 for a gain. Press 3 for a loss. A prompt showing total rushing yards displays briefly. Press yards passing to manually enter the number of passing yards gained or lost on a play. Enter the number of passing yards gained or lost on a play and press enter. Press clear twice to clear changes and return to the game. Select whether to add or subtract from total passing yards. Press 1 for a gain, press 3 for a loss. A prompt showing total passing yards displays briefly. Press first downs plus 1 to manually add to the number of first downs. A prompt showing total first downs displays briefly. The standard in-game details for timeouts, set play clock, recall last down, yards to go, increasing the quarter and down, penalty flags, ball on, and first down can be found in the middle of the insert between home and guest options. The timeout on and off key stops and starts the timeout clock. The length of the full timeout 
can also be changed when the timeout clock is stopped. Only the timeouts configured in the Edit Settings function are displayed on the LCD and available for selection. The up and down arrow keys can also be used to select the full timeout. Press timeout on off to display the configured time for full timeout length. To accept the full timeout length, press yes. To decline the selection of the full timeout length, press no. Press set play clock to display the configured play clock time. To accept the play clock time length, press yes. To decline the selection of the play clock time length, press no. To change the play clock time length and to set the play clock, enter the new time in minutes and in seconds on the number pad and press enter. Press set play clock a second time to display the configured time for reset one length. To accept the play clock reset one length, press yes. To decline the selection of the play clock reset one length, press no. To change the play clock reset one length and to set the play clock, Enter the new time in minutes and in seconds on the number pad and press enter. Press set play clock a third time to display the configured time for reset two length. To accept the play clock reset two length, press yes. To decline the selection of the play clock reset two length, press no. To change the play clock reset two length and to set the play clock, enter the new time in minutes and in seconds on the number pad and press enter. The recall last down key is used to re-display the ball on, down, to go, and possession values of the previous play if a new value has been incorrectly entered. If auto calculate is off, this function is disabled. When the LCD display is as shown, the following actions may be selected. Press recall last down to re-display the ball on, down, to go, and possession values of the previous play. Press yes to use the previous values. Press no to use the values that were just entered. Press quarter plus one to increase the quarter number. The full timeouts are automatically reset at halftime. The yards to go key is used to manually enter how many yards are needed to reach the next first down from the current yard line. Enter the number of yards to go for a first down and press enter. Press down plus one to manually increase the down number a prompt showing down number displays briefly. The ball on key is used to manually enter the field position or yard line of the ball. Changing the ball will vary depending on the auto calculate setting. If auto calculate is disabled, enter the yard line of the ball and press enter. If auto calculate is enabled, select the current side of the field for ball placement. Press 1 or the left arrow to set side of field to left. Press 3 or the right arrow to set side of field to the right. Enter the yard line of the ball and press enter. Down and to go can be manually updated at this time. To accept the current down and to go values, press yes. To decline the selection of the current settings, press no. Use the arrow keys to scroll to select a field to edit. Enter the current value on the number pad and press enter. The edit key allows the user to select and edit the following scoreboard fields. Main clock, play clock, timeout, center of field yard line, auto calculate, first down yards, and number of downs. For example, press edit in the key for the home or guest field to be edited. We will select edit, then score plus one. Now on our LCD, we will see team score dash edit, home and the current score with an asterisk blinking. We want to enter the correct score, then select Enter to accept the change. After selecting Enter, the LCD will return to show us the time, ball on, down, and the yards to go.